welcome to its tomorrow news i am hena talati tsunami warning as magnitude 7.7 quake hits near new caledonia a magnitude 7.7 earthquake struck the pacific ocean southeast of new caledonia triggering a tsunami warning us monitoring agency say the quake was detected at a depth of 37 kilometers the us geological service said on friday based on the preliminary earthquake parameters hazardous tsunami waves are possible for the coast within 1000 kilometers of the earthquake epicenter the pacific tsunami warning center said in a bulletin it urged people in threatened coastal areas to be alert The PTWC said waves up to 3 meters above tides were possible for Vanuatu. Smaller waves were possible for Fiji, New Caledonia, Kiribati and New Zealand. The Vanuatu Meteorology and Geohazards Department said an earthquake of such magnitude had the potential to cause destructive tsunami waves of 1 to 3 meters that could strike Vanuatu coastlines. The National Disaster Management Office advised people to take appropriate action and precautionary measures including immediate evacuation from the coastal areas to higher grounds according to an information bulletin on the department's website. Australia's Bureau of Meteorology said there was no tsunami threat to mainland Australia but Lord Howe Island located 70 kilometers north east of the sydney in the tasman sea was under the threat warning the new zealand's national emergency management agency said it was still assessing the potential for tsunami it advised residents in the endangered coastal regions to exercise caution in the city of naumia in the new caledonia a hotel receptionist told afp she felt no shaking from the tremor Smaller waves are possible in Papua New Guinea, Guam and other Pacific Islands. New Zealand's Civil Defence Agency issued an advisory saying they expected New Zealand coastal areas to experience strong and unusual currents and unpredictable surges at the shore. Australia's Lord Howe Island could be impacted by the dangerous rips, waves and strong ocean currents in the marine environment. the new south west state emergency services said ses state duty commander assistant commissioner said people should avoid the immediate waters edge that's all for now for more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news for more global weather updates like this subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates